So this is the spiral trellis stitch. With this, I'm going to be stitching the border of the color wheel. And to start this stitch, you're going to need to do a back stitch all the way around your hoop. Once you've done the back stitch, you are going to bring your needle up on the inside of the back stitch right by one of your stitches. Just pick a random back stitch and start there. Pull your thread through. And now all of the rest of your stitches will be worked on top of the fabric. I'm going to take my needle under the back stitch and under this thread, and then I'm going to pull it through. And then I'm gonna to move to the next back stitch doing the same exact thing. You can see there's a little knot and a little line there. And you wanna pull it through gently and tighten it, but don't pull it super tight. You just want it to be gently tugged tight. And you're going to keep going around to each back stitch. The first row of the spiral trellis stitch always looks a little funny. It looks better once you um, start your next row, but this is just your foundation row of stitches. So it's okay if it looks a little off, it's going to look better as you continue to work your way around and add more stitches. So I'm gonna keep going with this, and then I will show you what we do once we make our way all the way around and meet back up here to our original stitch. And we're gonna add another color there. So I have finished my border, my first row of foundation stitches besides the back stitch all the way around the edge of this. My second row, I'm going to use a different color and I'm going to do all of my stitches on the row that I just stitched. So bring, I'm going to bring my needle up right by one of the knots. And now instead of using the back stitch as my row that I'm going under, I'm using this row that I just made. So you'll notice in between the two little knots, there's a straight stitch there. That's what I'm gonna be using, just like I would have done with my back stitch. This is my new row. So I'm going under the back stitch or under this new stitch, same exact way that we did it all the way around the edge. I'm gonna pull my thread through and there's my new little knot. And then I'm gonna to go to the next little stitch Try not to grab the back stitch there. You'll, you'll notice I'm working with a longer length of thread than I normally recommend. I normally recommend maybe a 12 inch piece of thread um, as you're working, but because this is, I'm going around such a large circle and all of my stitches are on top of the fabric, and it's like I'm making a little weaving stitch. I'm not as concerned about how much extra thread I have. So your second row is gonna look a little better than your first row. And your third row will look even better than your second row. It just keeps looking nicer as you go with this. So I'm gonna keep stitching this reddish orange row and then I'll show you how to add the next color. Okay, so I've finished up my back stitch, the very first row, my row of black, which was the second one, my row of red, which I just finished, and now I'm on to my golden yellow 
uh, row. It's kind of neat if you look at the stitches, when you use a variegated thread like this, this sort of stitch looks really neat worked in a variegated thread because you can see a variety of colors which you can get without having to switch threads constantly. So I really like using a variegated color with those, with this stitch. So I'm just gonna start this next row, my third row, the same exact way by bringing the thread up near one of the knots and I'm going to go under my red row now. Same exact way. And just pull my knot gently and keep going. I'm going to finish up this hoop, this outer edge, stitched in a rainbow of variegated colors. And I will come back here to show you what it looks like when we're all finished. So I've stitched several more colors, lots of rows, and I'm finishing up this last row along here. And I'm just gonna keep doing the same exact thing I've been doing this whole time until I meet up at the end of my last row. Okay, so here I am. You'll notice if you take your fingers, this kind of lifts off the fabric still. So you are going to secure that by taking your needle and thread down through your fabric, pulling it, and then you can flip it over, tie a knot, um, or run your needle through your last few threads, but that is the spiral trellis stitch.